hey guys welcome to my channel um today guys i have some really exciting news to tell you guys um but before we get started with this video just do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button also give this video a thumbs up um but yeah let's just get right into the video my hair is a hot mess right now you guys it's super frizzy um but don't mind that i'm putting up my hair because i also want to do an eyeshadow look with you guys while i talk to you guys about my news and just have a quick little like to chat get ready with me i mean i'm partially ready the makeup i already have on i did do it like mm, 10 hours ago so it's pretty old um but i do not feel like wiping it off and redoing it so i'm just gonna stick with it and i'm just gonna do an eyeshadow look with you guys while we talk i don't know what kind of look i want to do um i actually haven't done a look in a while you guys it's been like two months i think almost that i have not done like obviously i've been doing my makeup when i go out but i haven't done like a look like eyeshadow look um in like two months and i think that's the longest i've ever gone without doing my makeup ever since i started doing makeup um so yeah i just feel like it's time i miss it i really want to use this green shimmer shade so we're gonna work around greens and browns so yeah that's what we're doing yeah guys so as you probably read from the title i am going back to school i am going back to school to become a licensed esthetician Oh my god, you guys, I'm so excited. I'm super excited. I'm really nervous. Even just talking about it right now, like my heart is pounding super fast. So this is something that I've been wanting to do for a while now. Um, like I've known for a couple of years that this is the route I want to go. This is what I want to do with my life. I just, I was really scared to take that jump. Um, I really didn't do anything to like look into it or anything or like how to start but I just knew it was something I wanted to do <laughs> so a little backstory um I did go to college right after high school um I moved cities I moved like an hour away from home and I was attending community college um but at that time I just didn't know like what I wanted to do with my life <laughs> like I felt like everyone knew by then like what they wanted to be like people knew that they wanted to be like a nurse or a doctor or the military or like you know whatever they wanted to be um but i just had no idea i always felt like i was never like really good at anything <laughs> like any jobs having to do with math completely out of the question <laughs> science i wasn't really like that good at science either my strong points were always like english um language arts you know that kind of stuff like i'm really good at like reading writing grammar all of that but i mean nothing like that interested me like really like i didn't want to be a teacher for sure like i've never wanted to be a teacher i never wanted to be like i don't know like just something like that <laughs> so anyways yeah i did go to college right after high school um i went for three months and then i ended up getting pregnant <laughs> mm, i think i want the brown a little darker um so yeah that's when i ended up meeting my fiance was like when i just started college and yeah we ended up getting pregnant and um, yeah, I just dropped out because not only because I found out I was pregnant, but also because I was just doing basics in college and it was stuff that I already knew, like basic math, basic language arts, you know, basic everything. And I really just felt at that time it was a waste of my time. I could have, I wasn't working as much because I was going to school. So I was like, I can probably just work more right now until I kind of figure out what I want to do with my life. Um, so yeah, I ended up dropping out and... The reason I'm telling you guys this story is because basically this whole time that I've been wanting to go back to school, I was really scared to apply because when I went to college the first time, I did end up getting FAFSA. And since I dropped out, I ended up owing FAFSA because I took the money and basically dropped out of school and like they gave me that money to go to school. Um, so yeah, that's why I was really scared to like look into going to school again for a while because I just thought I had to pay them back before I went back to school. And honestly, I never even looked into it. I don't even, I didn't even know if I had to pay them back or like, you know, I just was scared basically because I knew I could not afford to pay back what I owed. Um, but this year I was finally in a position where I would be ready to pay back the school in case I wanted to go to the new school. So since I knew I was going to be able to start paying back the school, I applied to the new school I wanted to go to um, where I would be able to become a licensed esthetician. And to my surprise, I got accepted to receive FAFSA again without even having to pay them back. 
so it was just really surprising to me i was like wow like this whole time that i was scared to like reapply to another school because i thought i would have to pay back fast but like they didn't even ask me to pay back anything it doesn't even say i owe anything first of all <laughs> and i received fafsa again which i'm so thankful for because that covered about half of the tuition i'm going to pay and also luckily this is only a six month program so in six months i'll be a licensed esthetician you guys oh my god i'm so excited um but yeah thankfully it's only six months so what i'm gonna end up paying isn't even that much at all so i'm just super like thankful that it's finally happening for me i'm so excited isn't this green shimmer so cute it reminds me of tinkerbell um but yeah guys i basically i just knew it was time for me to like get a career in my life um i was ready for it i was i'm just very i was in a spot in my life where i'm very comfortable i'm working from home ever since the pandemic and i've just been working from home you know i'm in my little security bubble and like i just got really comfortable but i know i'm not benefiting anything from this job and i'm just not doing something that i enjoy like every day i don't want to go to work because i just don't like what i do um so i just knew it was time it was time <laughs> it's time <laughs> Um, so yeah guys, applying was super easy, like, and it was so fast, you guys, like, I didn't think it would be, like, so fast and easy to, like, apply to the school and get accepted and to start. I literally started looking into this school, I think, like, late July or mid-July, around there. And of course, I was looking at other schools too, not just the one I'm going to. I was doing like research for like about a month and then I decided like this school is the school I wanted to go to. Um, so fast forward like a month later, I applied to FAFSA and then I reached out to the school. Um, what, what is she called? Like the financial aid advisor, I think is what she's called. I reached out to her and let her know like my concern about like owing FAFSA. And she was like, just go ahead and apply and uh, make sure you put in our school code so I can help you out and look at your application and all that. And yeah, like right from the start, they were like very helpful. Um, so yeah, I applied to FAFSA and it was super fast. I think within three or four days, like they told me I was approved um, and how much they were going to send me. And I was just so happy. And the financial aid advisor got the information at the same time as well. Um, so she went ahead and contacted me and she said, okay, this is how much um, FAFSA is giving you. And this is how much we can give you in student, um, a student aid. Is that what it's called? Student aid? Yeah. I think that's what it's called. Student aids. Um, and I was like, yeah, like sounds good. <laughs> like I'm down, you know? Um, FAFSA is literally covering like half of the tuition. So I was like, yeah. And then she was like, would you like to set up a tour to come check out the place? And I was like, yeah, please. So um, I think this was like a month later. Now we're like in late September or really early October. Um, I went in and I took a tour of the school. And oh my God, you guys, it was so exciting when I walked in there. So the school I'm going to, it does have different programs. So it has like the esthetician program. Um, they have nail students. They have um, hairstylists and... I think just cosmetologist, which is like hair and makeup only, I think. When I walked into the building, I was like, oh my God, this place looks amazing. You walk in and they do take on the public for clients so the students can practice on, which is something that scares me a lot, but I feel like it's gonna be fine. I'll be fine. <laughs> I walked in and there was people waiting for their appointments and I just saw like all the hair students working on their clients, the nail students working on their clients, and then when they took me to like the esthetician part of the school, um, oh my god, you guys, the room is so nice. The lights are like dimmed all the way down. There's like separate little like rooms with like little curtains and they had candles. They had like really relaxing music playing and I was like, oh my god, I wanted to get a massage right then and then. <laughs> it looked so relaxing and Everyone like smiled when I walked by, they greeted me. Um, yeah, and it just looked like so much fun. I don't know, it just looks like something I'll enjoy doing a lot. So I got super excited after my tour. Not me rambling and I'm not even doing my makeup. Yeah, so after the tour, I was like, oh my God, this looks amazing. I definitely want to come here. Um, so after the tour, I had to schedule and what was it called? Um, registration or like, application i don't know something i had to register basically um so i had to go back and at this time oh my god you guys i was in a car accident the first ever car accident of my life 
um but that's like a story for another time <laughs> but yeah i was in a car accident so i had no car so my mother was staying with us and the day i had to go apply or like submit my application or whatever um my mom was with us and i had no car so this is when i had to tell her because i was keeping it a surprise until i was like fully enrolled and like already had all my stuff to tell her um but i had to tell her a little early because obviously she was with me and she was like where are we going <laughs> um so i actually have a clip i recorded her reaction so i'll play the clip right now me telling my mom what do you think the surprise is Well, ya te dije que está embarazada, no un carro, no una casa, no un dinero, tu cheque, tu loan, no, no, nada. A ver, ¿cuándo vamos a llegar? Falta mucho para llegar. No, it's like a minute away. Un carro tampoco que hay. Escuela, no. A dónde? A tu city. A la subasta. There's parking. Uh, the front, right there, yeah. A spice so she can see the front. Fiesta. 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 Aquí. Fiesta. Plaza. Cosmetics. Aquí. Beauty. Tucson. Hey, pasan. Entrar a trabajar ahí. Trabajar no. A college. College. Vas a estudiar. Sí. Es todo madre. Good job. Good job. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> yeah guys so that was a clip of me telling my mom and oh my god that was like really just like a really great feeling being able to tell my mom i was going back to school because that's just something that she's been wanting for me for a long time now <laughs> ever since i dropped out <laughs> Um, but yeah, she's been wanting me to go back to school, so I was just very happy to be doing this for me and her because I knew she'd be very happy. And honestly, like, she's been telling me, like, I should be making a career out of this. Obviously, I like to think I'm very good at doing makeup, and you guys don't know the amount of times I, like, reject people that want me to do their makeup. Just because I always felt like, I don't know, like, I'm not, like licensed or like certified or anything like i know i'm good i just always feel like i don't know that's just like a personal thing also i didn't even tell you guys what i'll be licensed to do once i get my program so the esthetician program at this school um allows for me to learn and get licensed for um facials and i think like derma planning which is part of the facial um lash extensions i can do eyebrow tinting um, makeup and also waxing which I'm really excited for waxing I've always been obsessed with like the waxing videos and I've always wanted to try it I've never tried it I've never even gotten wax myself before I know but I'm very very excited to be able to start waxing and just be licensed for all of these things especially makeup because now I feel going forward once this is my career I can just take it more seriously on clients because yeah like I said I've always been like rejecting People that want me to do their makeup obviously outside of like my mom like close family and friends but yeah i'll obviously like i'll be doing that more soon and i'm just so excited also i'm very excited for i'm just excited for all of it honestly like facials waxing lashes makeup um i'm very excited to learn to do lashes and be able to do lashes on people just because i know that's a very like popular thing right now as you know i know girls love getting their lashes done and yeah, I'm so excited to just be doing all these things because honestly, I feel like this is just my passion. It's what I want to do with my life. I feel like it'd be the only thing I would be happy doing. So I'm um, just so excited to get started. And going back to my mom, you guys, she was like so happy. And she even, we went to the store right after like I had my um, interview at school and she bought me my first set of scrubs and like a scrub jacket just so I would have one already. Um, because um, I do have to wear black scrubs every day for school. Um, so she went ahead and bought me like my first outfit and yeah, she, I could just tell how happy she was. And once I was trying them on at home, she was like taking pictures of me and like, I haven't even started but she's already like all taking pictures of me. I have a lip stain on right now, just letting it stain my lips <laughs> in case my lips look crazy right now. But yeah, guys, I'm just so excited but I'm also super nervous. And one of the main reasons that I'm so nervous, it's because obviously, 
one i haven't been to school in like six years which is crazy i'm going back to school <laughs> after six years that's just like crazy to me uh, i just feel like i'm so old which i just turned 26 which i feel like i don't know like I, I know it's not old but i just feel old to like barely be going back to school and like getting my career started barely but it's fine <laughs> i know i'm not old but yeah just my mentality um second i'm so nervous because i'm a mother and obviously it's so different like well i would think going to school when you're a mother like it's not just me anymore you know it's not just like me and like me time it's like i have a child i have to take care of and i'm just very scared like because i also have a part-time job i'm gonna be working nights now while i go to um school in the mornings um which is full-time school is full-time it's monday through friday nine till two for six months and i'll be working um after after i get off school which my schedule is gonna be crazy because i'm gonna go to school pick up my son and then we'll come home and i luckily i do work from home so i can be home with my son once he's off school and yeah then i get off and i'll probably have like an hour or two tops with him before he has to go to sleep and yeah i just feel like i'm gonna miss him a lot but also like i just hope i'm still able to be there for him and like he doesn't miss me as much as i'll probably miss him but yeah those are just things that are like worrying me right now is like my son like my schedule obviously my relationship with my fiance as well like am i gonna have enough time for everything but luckily it is only six months and then I can stop working from here, from home, and just start my new career, which that's ultimately like, I think after I graduate, everything will just fall into place and I'll be so much more happy than I am right now. So I'm just like so nervous, but so excited. Also, there's always those doubts in my head that like, what if I don't pass? Like, what if I'm not good at it? You know, it's just very, I'm just a very negative person. I've been told a lot lately. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess I'm just like a very, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm negative. I'm just like a realist. Um, but yeah, I just like to be like, obviously, like, I guess if you don't expect too much, you won't get hurt. <laughs> I'm that kind of person. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to be very positive because yeah, I'm just trying to be more positive in my life. And I know that this will be only good in the end. My hair is freaking crazy today, but it's literally like 8 p.m. and I'm not about to go do my hair right now. <laughs> um, so let's just ignore how ugly my hair looks in this video. Um, I also had my orientation yesterday, you guys, and I was so freaking nervous, but all we really did was sit down and go over like the rules and everything that's expected of us. And now I am officially starting on Monday, you guys, which I'm gonna try to upload this tomorrow, Sunday. Um, so I'll be starting tomorrow if you're watching this on Sunday. Um, yeah, Monday, November 7th is my first day. Um, I really do want to try and like vlog everything for you, kind of like document everything. Um, the process and like just everything that I go through while being in esthetician school slash being mother slash working slash being a wifey. Not a wifey yet, but a fiance. So yeah, turn on your notifications just so you're notified each time that I upload a new video. Um, obviously, I probably will be taking a step back from uploading so many looks and like makeup reviews. Um, I still want to do them just if I have time, but just in case I don't, this is why. <laughs> but yeah, I do want to upload a lot of my school stuff and esthetician stuff. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button also if you're not subscribed already. Um, and if you are an esthetician watching this or you're going to school or planning to go to school or just whatever esthetician, <laughs> um, if you have any advice or any comments, please drop them down below. Um, I would love to read any advice or like just anything you want to tell me. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I think that's it for this video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to follow me on this new journey. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.